feels good to be back vlogging. And I actually have something to say, so this will be a good time to say it. Looks like my brother. Oh, poof, poof. I got a piece of hair stuck in my mouth. <laughs> Looks like my brother wants to learn how to ride a motorcycle. He asked me for some advice, and he was actually his text message was, "Hey, Morgan." I got a, a Jixxer, and I was like, what? You don't even know how to ride a bike. How many, how big is the engine? And he goes, a thousand cc's. And I was like, uh, bad idea. You could crash. So then he was like, no, I was just joking. But I do, I'm looking at a 250 or 600. And I was like, well, I'd advise you to do a 250. And then from there, you could move up in about two months to like a 600. I know my brother, and that's the best I see. I'm doing so yeah it looks like he's in the market for one which is pretty cool another thing that's going on uh, so I've been looking for jobs as everybody else in this country has been looking for jobs and I finally got an interview last Monday for this one marketing firm job I was like sweet cool I go to the first interview it's all fine and dandy you know, she asked me the specific questions. I answer them. And then, uh, it was the same day when you figure out if you're, it's like a free interview process. So, it was the same day when they call you to see if you made it to the second interview. So, I'm waiting around until 4 o'clock. 4.30 rolls around and they call me and say, Hey, congratulations, you got, you got the, uh, second interview process and I was like okay that's pretty cool I'm excited went out bought some uh, clothes for the next interview I will actually show you where that place is located it's over here on this exit um, the building right uh, to the right of those lights the red light right there um, so you know this was in two days is when the next interview was gonna happen so this whole time I'm excited I don't uh, you know they told us that it was gonna be like a training thing where you basically go around and do whatever they do you'll see how they uh, you know do work from day to day and so I was like okay sweet so, uh, so I was getting ready for this the night before I had to wake up at like 8 a.m. I decided to do some more research on the company so as I'm typing in the, the uh, company's name, I'm getting free search results for the company, and then afterwards it says scam, and I'm like, oh, what the what the hell? So I decided to click on it, and boy, am I glad I did. Uh, it was definitely a job scam, guys. You have to be out for you have to be on the lookout for those because um, although it didn't take your money, it wasn't a money job scam. It was a free labor scam. Supposedly, the second interview was you just go around with a guy who's like cracked out, maybe, handing out coupons to, you know, knocking door to door. You know, I was, I was like, uh, I, I, got, I was under the impression that I was going to be doing presentations, getting together, um, marketing ads for different companies, you know? So, I I was really dis disappointed. I was shocked, actually. I didn't know what to... My emotions, I didn't know what to do. I was like, well, this is really sad. Bummer. I mean, I should have realized that when I got through to the second interview that uh, this is kind of hard to do in this type of job economy. But, I don't know. I just didn't think. And I, I heard of some horror stories about uh, job scams that, man, I'm glad I did not go on that second interview. I, I actually emailed them back saying, hey, you know, um, I kind of lied saying that I I got another job. But after that, they they didn't even email me back because of that. So I was like, hmm, probably know that they're scammers. And, but it was legit. There was like an office. Like I showed you the building. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see at night. But I showed you what the building looked like. It's, you know, you have to buy it. Apparently, this company only has about three or four employees on their payroll. So, 
They're getting a lot of like free labor out of this. But it's it's still surprising that you know there's and this job I found on Craigslist, so but you guys gotta be careful. Watch out for all those those job scams out there, especially if it's dealing with money or money grams. Um, you know, Western Union, don't do it. Think twice. You know, I've, I've heard there's, um, let's see, like apartment scams, roommate scams, I've heard those. If you really want to take a look, uh, I would advise you to search for, you know, Craigslist, uh, for instance, job scams or, um, uh, you know, roommate scams, like the top, the top scammers, and wh what they do, what to look out for, and they'll just, you know, let you know in order to, to sh see what you can look out for the next time you try to search for anything, because it's dangerous out there, guys, and there's going to be a lot more scammers now than ever before, because people are desperate, you know, searching for jobs, searching for apartments, homes, cars, that they're trying to get every little single dollar out of you. So I'm looking out for your guys' well-being. It has been a long time, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, I did say that it was supposed to be an early spring, but as you can tell, it's a little wet out here. Although it's 50 degrees, it's kind of humid. It's not raining, at least. It's good. Uh, we did get, last week, a humongous downpour and a like a storm, a late winter storm as they called it. It is spring, but it doesn't really feel like it yet. I'm actually going pretty slow. Normally I'm just, you know, I, I don't go super fast, but I just want to try to get home. I don't want to be out here this early in the morning at 2.25 a.m. I did see a lot of cop activity yesterday. Maybe I might see some today. I don't know. Wow, that guy is speeding. Holy crap, where's the cops after that one? One of the reasons why I don't really like riding. I'm super extra cautious on Fridays and Saturdays when I'm going home from work at 2 a.m. You know, most of the bars close at 2 or 3. And you get all those speeders and drunk drivers. Super cautious. There's some cop action, finally. I wonder if that's a white car. Oh, 